Hey, Canik fans, Robin Taylor with Taylor Freelance here to do a quick note on the different size back straps. We keep getting questions from people about wanting to put a Canik Elite Carry Kit onto an, onto an SFX or an SFX back strap onto a subcompact or various, various things along those lines. So we wanted to try to say something about the different size guns. I have in front of me the three different back straps, the three major ones that we make for the Canik. This is the one for the full size, the SF SFX. This is the one for the Elite. And this is the one for the subcompact. The SFX, the, the original SFX, this is the original SFX, has this sort of narrow waisted bit at the bottom that that fits into, which is different than the Elite and also different than the new Canic Mate, which I'll bring in its backstrap here. You'll notice the Canic Mate is quite wide at the bottom and it doesn't have that little tail. So if you're looking for a Canic Mate backstrap, you need to give me a couple of weeks because we're, we're, we're making one of these right now, but it's obviously different than the one that goes on the original SFX. So the original SFX uses the, has a magwell that goes with it that uses the overlock system with this little tail and a screw that comes out the back. So you can mount uh, our, magwell, our magwell on it that way. Uh, the Elite, on the other hand, uses Canix system. So it has the square butt layout for the for the back strap and then there's a, <laughs> excuse me. It uses the it has the square butt system and then it has a screw in the bottom that allows to allows for mounting of the magwell that way. When you go to the to the SC, the SC we went a different route with the SC and that the SC we view the SC as a concealment gun, not a range gun per se. So the way we built the backstrap, we've optimized it to be a concealment gun. So we built a little mag guide into the bottom of the backstrap itself. So there is no separate part that bolts on here. It's a, it's a single unitary piece. You have a backstrap with a built-in magwell and that's it because we don't want to make the gun any wider or any sharper in the front because we don't want it to print through your clothes. This is, this is the gun you're going to carry every day. So we want lots of rounded corners and, uh, you know, maximized for concealment purposes. The, similarly, the Elite is kind of a, uh, an in the middle solution. It's both a range gun and it's a concealment gun. So the, the magwell we've created for it is much smaller. You'll see it's, it's a carry oriented magwell. That, secu that secures like the, like the one that Canik offers with the Elite Combat by using this little screw down the back. Like that. So, anyway, gives you a setup that looks more or less like that. The SFX, on the other hand, is full size. I mean, it's, it's twice the size of this Magwell because this is a range gun and a range gun almost exclusively. So no, not very many people are gonna try and hide that big giant Magwell. One of these days we may produce a Magwell of this size for the more concealment oriented people that use full size guns, but that's how we view it. You've kind of got a full size range gun, you know, a, a compact, which is, does, does double duty. And then you have a, and you have a subcompact, which is a concealment gun primarily. So the, the back straps, are not interchangeable. They go with the different frame sizes and each has its own different design philosophy. So anyway, I hope that helps. Robin Taylor with Taylor Freelance. Thanks.